How whitening trays are made at the dentist. First, they will find a tray size that fits your mouth. Cool, this tray fits. So now they will bring the impression stuff to you, all the supplies needed to make a mold of your teeth, including, yes, the goop, the sticky impression material. They will generally mix the impression material right next to you since it sets, it hardens pretty quickly. So once it's mixed, they put it onto the tray and they will right away put it into your mouth. Don't bite down, they will press it up. The top tray is usually more difficult for the patient just because you could see what we're doing here because sometimes when that stuff touches the roof of your mouth, you might feel a little gaggy. I do have a video all about how to survive dental x-rays, which actually gives tips and tricks on how to prevent gagging while getting x-rays taken. You can use those same exact tips and tricks to prevent gagging when getting impressions taken. So I'll link that video of mine in the description box if that's something that you're interested in. Now, once the material sets, they will pull it out of your mouth. It usually makes a suction noise, like a pop. And then they will clean you up, give you a towel and get all that stuff off your face. And then after they're done with the top, they will do the same exact thing on your bottom teeth. And after that, they will clean you up again. And then once they're done with both the top and bottom impressions, they will bring the impressions back to the lab and make the trays for you. But it's quite a process, so they usually wouldn't get them finished on the same day. So for you, for the patient, they would usually have you schedule an appointment to come back and pick them up on another day once your whitening trays are ready. But really quick, if you do want to see how we do get them ready, how we make them in the lab, what we do first is we make a mold of your teeth from your impression. So we make a mixture with stone and water. The impression is then held on the dental agitator, which helps the stone spread throughout the impression and flow the mix into a mold. After the base is made, they allow it to sit and cool off. And then once it's cooled off, the model will be pulled apart from the impression then they will trim the model to get it ready for the vacuum forming machine. And then it will be placed into the vacuum forming machine. So then your model of your teeth will be sitting in the vacuum forming machine, which is the thing that makes the whitening trays. The tray material is put into the machine. And then once the machine warms up, the plastic material creates a bubble and it's pulled down onto the model of your teeth and it forms into a whitening tray around your teeth model. So it will fit custom to your mouth. Then you'll come back and pick it up. They will confirm it fits in your mouth and give you instructions on how to use your whitening trays at home. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. Peace, love, and teeth.